A little recap of how Golden State got here. No problem at all in the first round against the Nuggets and MVP Nikola Jokic. The Warriors took that series four to games to one with Stephen Curry averaging 28 points a game. Then the Western semifinals, the Warriors beat the Memphis Grizzlies four games to two. Memphis had to play the final three games without Ja Morant after he suffered a knee injury in game three. So now Golden State looking to get back to the NBA Finals for the first time since 2019. This is the sixth time in the last eight years that Golden State has reached the conference finals. So for the very latest on the Golden State Warriors, we welcome in Kendra Andrews from San Francisco. Kendra, let's get right to it. You've been talking to people around the Warriors. What are they saying about what they're going to do about Luka Doncic? Yeah, Dan, the Warriors are prepared to throw anything and everything at Luka, and that's exactly what Luka is expecting as well. Andrew Wiggins is going to start off as the primary defender on Luka, but the Warriors are ready to have a rotation of him, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, Otto Porter Jr., even Jonathan Kaminga. They'll all get their turns on Luka. Kavon Looney will also be switched on to him at times, as he was against James Harden in those Warriors Rocket series from a couple years ago, especially when Draymond is on the floor, so that way they can maintain some perspective protection around the rim from the Dwight Powell pick and roll lob threat. The Warriors are also prepared to go zone, which was very successful for them against Memphis as well as box and one. Now, Dan, I think I just rattled off literally every defense that's possible as well as every Warriors roster member, but that's what you have to be prepared to do when going up against a guy like Luka. The Warriors have the, a similar mindset as to what they had when going up against Nikola Jokic and John Morant, and that's those guys are going to get theirs. Luka, he's going to get his right it's about making sure what he gets is earned and not given yeah I thought you were going to start listing like warriors from the past like can Wilt Chamberlain you know <laughs> get in there and, and maybe help hey what is uh you know Draymond Green has kind of been a, a little low-key in terms of uh, his offensive contribution what's Steve Kerr their head coach saying about what he needs from Draymond this series Mm -hmm. The Warriors want an aggressive Draymond Green. Steve Kerr said, that is my favorite version of him. And when Draymond is, is aggressive and looking to score, Steve said, I see victory. And he's not the only one. Ahead of game six against the Grizzlies, Mike Brown, who was acting head coach at the time, challenged Draymond to look to score more. And in the first half of that game, he came out extremely assertive and driving to the hoop. When he does that, it forces opposing defenses to be honest, right? They can't just completely ditch him to go, to go double Steph or Clay or Jordan Poole. It forces them to, to come and defend him. It spreads the floor a lot more. And the Warriors aren't the only ones who know this. Luka Doncic himself said yesterday, yes, Steph is great. Clay is great. They changed the way basketball is played. But Draymond, he is unbelievable, Luka said. And he is a game changer. Kendra, thanks very much. Everybody pay attention to Kendra throughout uh, this entire series for the very latest on the Warriors. Happy to be joined now by eight-time NBA All-Star Vince Carter and Minnesota Timberwolves guard Patrick Beverly. Patrick Beverly, been here all week. Enjoying yourself here in, uh, yeah, in New York City? Awesome, awesome. fantastic. Well, let's talk about this series. How can the Warriors' defense slow down Luka? Uh, like she said, and, and we, we spoke about it earlier, uh, it's not going to be one person. Um, it's going to be a right. team effort. Uh, I, I, before I even know what was going on in the locker room, I assumed that uh, – Wiggins was starting on him. I assume that everyone's going to get their shot at him. She kind of said the exact same thing. Uh, finish with Draymond. I, uh, I like Looney on him. I mean, like they, you know, it's about winning, winning one game, and they go throw the whole thing at him. Whatever, whatever it takes. Vince, uh, we're all very <coughs> familiar by now with the, uh, the stars of the Warriors. Seems like they've been uh, deep in the playoffs forever and ever. Uh, which of those stars, however, do you think most needs to step up in this series? Oh, man. Well, I mean, <clears throat> sorry I sound awful here. Uh, but, I mean, obviously, we, Luca has to step up. And we know we're going to get his. But when, when we use the term has to step up, in my mind, is he's going to have to figure out a way to get his and empower his teammates as well. The success they had against Phoenix was when he was getting his and also giving other guys the opportunity to dominate or play well and get going where Luca can do his thing in the fourth quarter. So look for him early to facilitate, get guys involved while getting his. Uh, Pat, you're our resident lockdown defender here uh, mm. this week. Uh, a little better than I am at it. Uh, <laughs> what would you do? Uh, you, uh, if Luca was your assignment this series, what would your plan be? Uh, just, uh, uh, you know, make them play in crowds. Um, I've always said basketball mm -hmm. in the playoffs, especially playing in Golden State, you have to score 110 points. 
Uh, you give Luca 40, you give Spencer Dinwiddie 15, you give Brunson 15, you get Reggie Bullock 10-10, and, and it's still 30 points left out there. Uh, so I don't, I don't see how they do it. Uh, it's going to be tough, but it's going to be a great, like it's going to be a great series. It's just going to be really tough every night consistently uh, 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 for the Dallas Mavericks. So uh, I got Warriors. I don't know how many games I got them in, but I got Warriors to win this. You just got them to win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Certainly they're capable of outscoring them. Obviously we know how they can score, but Vince, you know, Clay Thompson was a little bit rough from three-point range early in that Memphis series until uh, game six when he went eight for 14. Uh, which version of Clay do you think we'll see in this series against Dallas? But we remember his last. You remember the performance in game six? Clay, Clay has a short memory. He doesn't forget, and he, en <clears throat> he enjoys the challenge of people saying, oh, it, he's not in rhythm. He can't do this. Well, game six, he showed us who he really is and what he's very capable of. <clears throat> and they understand that the moment. Right now, the Golden State Warriors understand because they've been here before. They know what it takes. They know who needs to step up. Klay Thompson will step up. Steph Curry will step up. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.